decades before Martin Luther King Jr. and the passing of the nation's Civil Rights Act of 1964, Elizabeth Perotovich and other Native Alaskans were fighting for equal rights throughout the state. Native to Southeast Alaska, Elizabeth Wanamaker was born in Petersburg, Alaska on July 4, 1911. Elizabeth's Tlingit name was Kukkakut. She was of the Lukakuti clan of the Raven Moiety. Elizabeth's parents died when she was young and she was adopted by a Clinket couple named Andrew and Mary Wanamaker. Educated and well-spoken, Elizabeth was said to be strikingly beautiful, sophisticated, self-assured, charming, and soft-spoken. Her personality and the causes she fought for personified the ideals that the Alaska Native Sisterhood had been founded on. Elizabeth left Alaska and went to college in Bellingham, Washington, where she met her husband, Roy Paratrovich, who was also from Alaska. They were married in 1931, and 10 years later, they returned to Alaska to raise their family. Alaska proved to be unwelcoming in the early 1940s. Discrimination and inequality were rampant. No dogs, no natives, and natives not allowed are examples of signs that could be found on doors of storefronts and businesses. The Alaska Native community faced unemployment and poverty due to segregation and injustice based on the color of their skin. Racial profiling had direct and negative consequences on the Paratrovich family. When Elizabeth, Roy, and their children moved to Juneau, strong discrimination prevented them from buying a home in the part of town where they wanted to live because Native Alaskans weren't welcome there. In 1943, with the help of Governor Ernest Gruning and Congressional Representative Anthony J. Diamond, legislation was sponsored and introduced to the legislature, but didn't get enough votes to pass. Still frustrated by daily acts of bigotry that her family and others suffered, strong-willed and determined, Elizabeth Paradovich struggled to persuade legislators to reintroduce the Anti-Discrimination Act in 1945. As Grand Camp President of the Alaska Native Sisterhood, Elizabeth gave a speech to the Alaska State Legislature. She expressed her feelings against prejudice and what life was like for Native Alaskans as second-class citizens. In her speech, she began, I would not have expected that I, who am barely out of savagery, would have to remind gentlemen with 5,000 years of recorded civilization behind them of our Bill of Rights. Elizabeth convinced Alaska legislators to pass the Anti-Discrimination Act with a vote of 11 to 5. The bill was signed on February 16, 1945. Forty years later, Elizabeth Paradovich was finally recognized for her hard work and determination. In 1988, the Alaska State Legislature established February 16th as Elizabeth Paradovich Day to recognize and honor her efforts to achieve equality and justice for all Alaskans.